Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to do clay demos and demo kit demos, but first I should probably explain what these are. So in Scientology, being able to demonstrate words and concepts is a crucial part in training. See, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but I sure didn't when I started. That's that life is comprised of mass, which is the stuff we can perceptually experience, like an apple, you can feel it, you can see it, etc. And it's also comprised of significance, such as the words, theories, concepts, etc. attached to it. Now, I can tell you an apple is medium sized, but without seeing it, that could mean anything to somebody who has never seen an apple before. So understanding something needs a balance of mass and significance. That's where demonstrations come in. Why many people across the globe struggle so much with some subjects in life or in school is because of a lack of mass. The books are full of writing, but having an actual visual representation of something, along with the significance of something, makes things so much easier to understand. As LRH explains, if you were studying about tractors, the mass would be the actual tractor. You could study a textbook all about tractors, how to operate the controls, the different types of attachments that can be used. In other words, all the significance, but can you imagine how little you would understand if you had never actually seen a tractor? So that's why we do demonstrations of things, visual representations of concepts, words, etc. In this video, I'll demonstrate the word intention so you can have an understanding of how to do a clay demo. Once you know how to do a clay demo and use your demo kit, you'll be able to study anything with a good dictionary by your side for significance. So once you know how to do a clay demo and use a demo kit, you'll be able to study absolutely anything with a good dictionary by your side for significance. The things you'll need for any clay demonstration is paper or card for labels, a pen to write the significances down, a scissors to cut the labels out, non-air drying clay, a table to work on, and a dictionary to make sure you understand the words you'll be working with. You can also take it a step further and get clay tools if you like as well. The first step after you know what you want to demonstrate is to start molding the clay into the shapes that you need. Once you have a piece that has the mass, you can then create a label with their significance. In this case, clay joe is the mass and the label joe is the significance. You can continue on creating these pieces, all the while labeling after every piece is made. Be careful not to add too much significance or you may get flunked, like writing down joe is the guy next door or whatever. Once you have all the pieces put together to form the idea, you can then either send it to your course supervisor as pictures if you're studying Scientology, or it will give you a clearer understanding if you're just doing it for yourself or your studies. And that's basically it. That's how you do a clay demonstration. Part two of this video is a demonstration using a demo kit. This is different because the mass is just random objects and instead of a photo, you'll demonstrate it in real time to your course supervisor. So pretend for a minute you're my course supervisor and I'm demonstrating intention using a demo kit. This is basically what I'll say. So here's Joe represented as the part to a key ring and the marble is a ball. The string represents the thought Joe is having, which is that he wants to throw the ball to ball represented by a marble and ball as the part that opens a can. As you can see, outside of the thought, Bill doesn't have a ball, so it means it's an intention but not an actual action yet. So that's how you do a demo kit demonstration and of course a clay demonstration before that. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!